Yo, Bo, welcome to another episode of In the Life of Mighty Fan. Uh, we have a pickup. We have some pickups here, including an unbagging of an item that came via eBay in the mail um, today. Uh, it was actually kind of funny because I got the alert via, I always get the, the text message alerts for, you know, packages and whatnot. And, and I got the alert a little too early that the, <laughs> the package was delivered. And I looked around, there was no package anywhere. It said it was left on the doorstep. There was no package anywhere. But I guess the mailman scanned it by accident or whatever when he was getting out of the truck. So when the mailman came around, I'm standing out there I'm saying, I have a package? <laughs> and he was already handing it to me. He already had it out. Uh, he said, yeah, he, <laughs> he hit it by accident when he was getting out of the truck. But it did come safe and sound, and I'm glad it did, as any package. But I'm certainly glad because it's a bit of a grail item. It completes a set. So we will get to that in just a bit. But first, let me show the items that I acquired uh, over the past few weeks, including this item right here, which was an eBay pickup. Um, really, you know, really nice jersey here. Um a bit hard to find. This is actually, I believe, a custom version. The jersey itself, everything else, like the actual jersey is an actual jersey from that time period, but I believe it was later customed into this player, which is fine. I think they did a nice job with the customization. It's an alternate jersey, I want to say from 06, if I'm not mistaken. It wasn't worn very, very often by this team, but this player certainly wore it. You can find Google image search of him wearing this jersey um and it's the goat it's the goat so we got tom brady shout out to all the the patriot fans out you know i'm a little more partial to the to my eagles okay but but you know we are in the club of, of fans who beat tom brady in a super it's just us and giant fans that's the one thing that we'll share in common <laughs> but here it is tom terrific right here this is the uh the goat the silver uh, alternate jersey from 06. And a shout out to Mac. I, I, I reached out to him because I just wanted to make sure everything was good. It was actually, the, the seller it does a lot of custom stuff for baseball and football. It's a, uh, They have a lot of different jerseys. And they had some other players in the silver Patriot jerseys. And I couldn't remember if some of those players wore the jersey or not, and they didn't. So I'm glad I, I reached out and made sure with uh, with with uh, with Ravelry on that one, with Ravelry Sportswear, because uh, I wasn't 100% sure, and I knew he, he knows just about everything there is to know about the Patriots, particularly from this era. So I wanted to go to the source there. You know, Bill Belichick wasn't available, or Tom. So I... <laughs> Tom, Tom saw my number and said, oh, no, crazy Eagle fan. I can't take that call. <laughs> But, um, but thank you to Mac for, you know, make, uh, uh, the info that he, he gave to me and I knew Brady wore this and this was my, really my first choice, um, of the players to get in it. They had a few players available, uh, some players who wore this, some players who didn't, but you know, that's why sometimes you got to fact check Mitchell and Ness, you got to fact check every now and then. <laughs> Hey, they they like to say, we watch you, we watch you, we watch your group. Yeah, but do you listen? You can watch, but you got to listen, too. <laughs> Shout out to Mitchell and Ness. But anyhow, um, this is a uh, NFL equipment era Reebok Authentic. Like I said, the jersey itself is 100% is good. I mean, this was probably just a blank that the customizers customed into these players. Uh, there you have the equipment shield. You have the inside tagging as well from that time period. You have all the, the bells and whistles. Um, hit you with that jock tag. Right there, it's a, it's a 54, size 54. Players Association tag. You have the equipment uh, logo. Uh, the Patriots is you know stitched onto the front the word font there and then you have the the 12 of course this is the style patriots that they wore during that time i know they have a, had a different one since but this is what they wore during that time 
you have the 12. The 12 is, uh, is, is triple stitched onto the front in that red, white, and navy blue. Happy Flag Day, of course, to all out there, too. Kind of an appropriate jersey for that, right? And we got the Patriot logo, the uh, Flying Elvis head on the sleeves, the yoke sleeves. You know, not everyone was a fan of these authentic Reebok era jerseys. I like them. I like them more so than the Nike jerseys. And I only have the Jalen Hurts, you know, authentic and Nike. But just these, just how they kind of fall on you when you put them on. And a lot of people don't like that because they're a little big or whatever. I grew up in the air where you wore them big, so this doesn't matter to me at all. You know, I, I prefer it like this, you know, have a little bagginess to it. Uh, but certainly from the era that this is does represent, it's during the baggy era. So the jerseys were pretty baggy back then to the authentics. Big and baggy. Um, you do have the, uh, the trim down the sides. Very cool jersey, a lot going on on it, you know. Uh, like I said, of all the Patriot jerseys from this era, I would probably have to say this one and the throwbacks that they wore were probably the ones that I liked the most, just because they were different. You know, you would see the home and away all the time, but just to see something a little different, you know, was was pretty cool. And I do remember when they wore these. Uh, you got Brady on a nameplate, uh, single stitched, and everything else is going to be triple stitched, including the 12s on the shoulders. Come on, Tom! <laughs> there you go. He wasn't known for catching the football, but he could throw it pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. How many shots is Mighty Fan going to take at the Patriots? Adam sitting there going. <laughs> Shout out to Adam. Um, so there is jersey number one, the GOAT. We start with the GOAT, Tom Brady, now doing commercials. Yeah, more commercials. He's doing more commercials now than you saw him do commercials when he was playing. But, you know, he's he's got nothing but time right now, you know, <laughs> before he gets in the broadcast booth, right? Um, so let's go on to the... So that was an eBay pickup, um, and I got that just before my trip to Maryland. Let's get into uh, the Mitchell and Ness pickup from the flagship. So they did a 40% off deal... I guess it was the weekend before my trip, and um, they did 40% off Swingman attire. So I took the opportunity to grab a few more things. Um, actually, did wear these the uh, during my, my time in Maryland, but the uh, Nuggets, you know, the, I guess the, you know, you want to call them the 90s, 80s, 90s era shorts. There you go. Swingman shorts that does have the pockets, which I like. Shout out to the Nuggets for winning their first NBA championship in franchise history. Denver on the, as you see it there, on the bottom, it does have the NBA logo. It does have the rainbow pattern going up both sides. So this will go with like the Kemi Matumbo. I mean, you can wear it with Alex English too, you know, what have you, Fat Lever. You know, I have a few Nuggets jerseys to go with this. Uh, all right. And then I got these, which I've wanted for a bit. I just, you know, waited till the right moment, I guess. The, uh, <coughs> the Vancouver Grizzlies swingman shorts with, of course, the tribal pattern going around the bottom. It's got the, uh, Gold logo for the 50th anniversary season of the NBA. You have the, um, on the authentic, I believe they would have some stuff here, but this is the Swingman one, so. Uh, you do have the big logo, though, on the other pant leg right there, or short pant leg, I guess. So, I got the Sharif Abdul Rahim. You know, I'm pretty sure this would go pretty good with that. Or just wear them. I mean, these are these are just so nice. You know, you can just wear them out, whatever. <clears throat> just find like a some sort of shirt or something that will go with it. Uh, whew. and then got a couple more jerseys. Um, let me put this on a hanger. We have. Uh, I do have an authentic starter signed jersey in this. It was an upper deck 
exclusive, but this uh, this is the Away version. I do have a replica Away one too from back in the day, but it's the Mitchell and Ness, the Splash Cavs uh, era jersey for Sean Kemp. There it is. I always kind of like these jerseys, you know. Um, I thought it was a pretty decent look from back then. Of course, I like their older jerseys the best, you know, from like the 90s, 80s, you know, that that, that era with the kind of the net and the V. I always, I always like that the best. But it does say Sean Kemp. What's this? 97, 98. Sean Kemp, swing man. They'd have, they, to, to date, have yet to make an authentic in this. So I took what I could. Uh... <clears throat> Place this down, and one more here from the uh, 40 40 percent uh, off deal, which now they're having a forty percent off deal on Authentics, and I believe that runs until tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. And they'll probably do something else around the weekend of Father's Day. You know, again with it being under the Fanatics umbrella, you can expect a lot of sales. <laughs> Uh, and this is a rather new release for them. <clears throat> Phoenix Suns, throwback, uh, Steve Nash jersey. They also made Sean Marion, which I do want at some point. But the Nash, they didn't have Marion in the store, so I went with the Nash. I just like these jerseys. I have Authentics in, like, you know, different players that they made over the years. KJ, uh, Chambers, and such. So, this was a throwback that the Suns wore years ago, um, you know, during the time Nash was there, and, uh, you know, I think Stoudemire and all of them were there. 05, 06 is your year. There's the jock tag. I know with the light it's a little hard to see. But Phoenix, Suns, Steve Nash jersey, the throwback from Hardwood, Hardwood one of their Hardwood Knights, Hardwood Classic Knights back in the day. And last but certainly not least, whew, certainly not least, okay, this, <clears throat> I want to give a big shout out to Adam. He alerted me about this. Thank you so much, Adam. He gets the, the, the Nash assist, I guess, for, for this one, the Stockton assist. All right, let me get it out here. Um... So the seller did put it in a plastic bag. You know, I always would prefer, and I always do uh, suggest, if you're selling jerseys, always you know try to use a priority mail box when possible to put them in the mail. The bag is okay. The problem with the bag is that you know it could rip. Um, the other issue is when you're opening the bag, you have to be careful because if the jersey's right up against the side, you're trying to cut open, and you, it's come close a few times. I never cut the jersey. It's come close a few times, but you got to make sure you're careful. Uh, do it slow and also make sure that jersey isn't right up where you're trying to cut with the scissors or knife or whatever you use. Because it can, it, you know, it can get very close and very harrowing at that time. <laughs> um, so let's get this bad boy out of here. I'll put it on a hanger. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you can tell the old, the, the, the old runs definitely were heavy. <laughs> This is a heavy run, heavy jersey. Um, all right. Appears it's made in USA, from what the tag says. So that's certainly cool. I'm just giving. This is the first time I'm looking at it, so I'm giving it a little once over. Yeah. Nice jersey, definitely a nice one. Yep. All the bells and whistles are there. So we have... Ah. Yep. We got the home version of the 1973 Houston Astros. Shout out to Sam and all the... Astro fans out there. So here's the home version for J.R. Richard. You'll note the Astros across the front. Seems to be chain-stitched. And you got the shooting star as well. 
Very nice jersey. I, obviously, I'm, this is the first I'm having it, so seeing all the details up close is pretty cool. It's a zip down, as they wore at that time. Going to get you with the jock tag here, 1973, Mitchell and Ness Cooperstown Collection. Here's the Astrodome logo on the sleeve. Very cool logo, one of my favorite all-time logos. And you have Richard uh, double-stitched. No nameplate, just Richard, 50, is double-stitched as well onto the back. Definitely a jersey that's becoming harder and harder to get. This one I, I got many years ago, and I finally was able to get the set. So here's my, here's my road version, which was probably one of the early baseball throwbacks that I got many, many years ago. And then here's your home. I believe they're both the same year. Yeah, 1973 for both the home and road set. I remember these were more available back in the day. Like, you would see them. You would see them both, you know, pop up on eBay a decent amount. The road one, you know, it took a couple tries back then for me to get it, but I got it. And obviously, um, uh, the white one, I mean, you know, you you might see this less than you see the, the road gray one today. It is not one that pops up that much. I missed out on one last October. In fact, November 1st is when I missed out on the last one I tried to get. Uh, I didn't put down enough. I thought I did, um, but the, the person who was the high bidder was able to get it. My bid didn't beat, hit, beat that bidder's bid, so didn't get it. But I got it now, and I actually paid less for this one than I would have last year. So, you know, it took time. But everything works out. That's why I always say you always got to keep, you, you know, it, it, it's easy to get frustrated in the hobby because there are going to be a lot of times, you know, where you miss out on stuff and, you know, things happen. You know, we, we're, no one's perfect, right? We all miss out on stuff. Even, you know, you see all these jerseys in the collection, you see all this stuff, you say, oh, he has everything. No, I don't. I mean, there's still stuff that I want to get. I've missed out on a lot of stuff. But, you know, that persistence and also being in a group, you know, being in with a group of guys and gals who are, who are collectors who kind of know what you're looking for. And if they see something, um, unless they really need it, <laughs> they'll let you know, um, you know, the assist, the Stockton assist, we call it. So Adam, my, my buddy in Boston, gets to even, even though his, 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 his Celtics took care of the, the they did it again. <laughs> Sixers, but thank you to Adam, and thanks to Adam, I was able to add the home 1972, right, 19, uh, 1973, 1973, uh, J.R. Richard to the fold, now have the set, because again, you got the beautiful road gray one right there, and the white one, and they're both, they're both spectacular jerseys, they're both in the fold, and all the J.R. Richard jerseys that Mitchell and Ness has made over the years is in the collection. I got these two. I got the Tequila Sunrise. You know, we think of Nolan Ryan and them. That jersey. And I have the St. Patrick's Day green one, which, who, which uh, Allen Iverson made famous back at his celebrity softball game many years ago wearing that, you know, that, that Astros, that, that uh, uh, um, you know, what you call it, the... Um, uh, the logo, the, the Astros hat, which I have, um, the, um, I, I can't think of words all of a sudden, <laughs> the prototype, you know, logo, um, which never did get uh, put on Astros uh, uniforms, but you see it all the time now, it's made a huge comeback now, it's on a bunch of hats, I was able to get that green hat, you know, I think a year or two back, when it, you know, started popping back up again, because I have that J.R. Richard jersey, and you think of that combo wombo, that was Allen Iverson, you know, wearing it for the celebrity softball game many years ago, back in the jersey boom days of the mid-2000s. Uh, so I have that jersey. That was my first, that was no, my, my second J.R. Richard. The gray one was my first. I got the St. Pat's, then I got the Tequila Sunrise one from Nostalgia Boy, shout out to him, and then this one, thanks to Adam, with the... Uh, the, the Stockton assist was able to alert me to this, and I was able to grab this when I was in Maryland last week. <laughs> 
and 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 Slim remembers my reaction to to getting this because I made an offer. It was a it was an auction, but there was also a best offer, and I made an offer, and they took it pretty much a couple minutes later. So very exciting, very good. Um, so anyhow, that is it. That that's all the pickups. I got some more stuff in the mail. I actually got a deal done today, kind of surprisingly. Uh, one of the Jersey heads reached out to me about something we talked about last year. But we were able to get that deal done uh, this year, uh, today, so those are coming. I got some other stuff floating around in the mail. Uh, uh, New Era put out an incredible collection. The powder blue collection, the hats with jersey fronts and every hat. It's just, uh, oh, that 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 collection's going to get me. I, I, I got two of them. I, I, I got two of them, and I'll, I'll talk more about those another time. But I got two of them uh, from, from New Era today. And uh, I was very uh, pleased to see that set when <laughs> we've had other sets in recent time of powder blue, you know, hats to go with the jer the hooks for jerseys from the 70s and 80s for baseball. And I know uh, Lids did one last year, which was very nice. I want to say there were some others. I know Pro Image has done a few things here and there. This set, though, by New Era, what they just put out today. Oh, mama. God, that really got me. When I saw that, I said, oh, this is going to be a problem. It already is a problem. <laughs> and it will continue to be a problem until I get all the ones that I really want from that set, which that might be a cash out, cash out set for me. That that set, I haven't been as excited to see a set of hats. And I, you know, you know how I get with hats. I love myself some hats. Since the, the, the 94 set came out last year with the 125 patches on the side that Lids put out. Oh, that, that, that one got me in the feels. This one got me in the feels today. I'm like, oh, oh this is too good. <laughs> this, this, this collection is, oh, oh, wait till you see the first two I got. Oh, oh, new air, you're hurting me. <laughs> So yes, I was rather, uh, rather excited to, to see that set today. That was a, that was a very cool looking set. That's, it's not for everybody. I understand that this is really like a jersey head deal. This this set, because uh, it goes with every single powder blue jersey that the MLB had from back in the day in seventies and eighties, and there was quite a few teams that wore them. So my Phillies, of course, being right up there, right? Although I'm not wearing one of those today. I'm actually wearing my Chase Utley batting practice jersey from back in the day i wanted to wear some red white and blue with flag day and everything and you know gotta go phillies right yeah you, you know they, they've been playing good they got the song back now they're dancing on my own you know and they've been winning series you know, sometimes you, you know what you just gotta do things to win sometimes if it just meant bringing a song back all right i still don't agree with shorber as the leadoff man but it works it works for them okay <laughs> Let's go Phillies. Anyhow, I will see you all in the next one. I'll be back again soon. I got some more stuff coming in the mail. I'll have some more unbagging or unboxings for you. We're going to have a vehicle uh, vlog again this weekend because why not? I got some places to go and I'm going to take you along with me, you lucky people. You don't know how lucky you are in this channel, but you know, you, you have to know you're all, you're all cherished. <laughs> Okay, so I will see you in the next one. What you always got to do, leave those likes. Let's like it up as much as we can. Make sure to hit the bell icon to get alerted to future content from yours truly. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And make sure you subscribe to all my Jersey heads out there. All right, because it's an important thing to do. I'm going to go towel off. And then I'm going to join Rez later tonight on Rez's channel. He does his weekly live, 930 Eastern. Okay, you can see me and some other, you know, whoever wants to hop on. You never know who's going to hop on, right? So we're going to join Rez tonight for another one of his lives. And now we'll be seeing him in person in a few weeks from now at the, at the uh, Basketball Hall of Fame, the Naismith Hall of Fame. Looking forward to that trip in a few weeks. And we'll, we'll have to document there. We'll, we're going to have to do that. Yeah, we're going to. Anyhow, I got to talk. I got to get down. I got a towel off. I'll see you all soon. You all take care. All right.